In this session, I want to look at salaries, wages, and overtime. So I have some questions. I'm going to work each of them step by step. Marjorie gets $640 per week. How much would she receive for four weeks of work if she gets a 17.5% bonus on her pay for excellent work? So per week... I'm just going to write my solutions here. Per week, she gets $640. For four weeks, she's going to get $640 multiplied by 4. And that is going to give me $2560. And they are saying that she gets a bonus of 17.5%. So I'm just going to write here bonus is 17.5%. And that is going to be 17.5% of that 2560. So 2560 multiplied by 17.5%. And then I'm going to divide that by 100. I'm going to get $448. So she's going to get paid. So her pay is actually going to be $2560 plus that $448 bonus. And she's going to get... Three thousand and eight dollars. Number five. Sharon receives seven hundred and twenty eight dollars in a particular week when she worked forty regular hours and eight hours overtime at one and a half times the regular wage. Find a normal hourly rate of pay. So her wage was seven hundred and twenty eight dollars and she worked for 40 hours regular hours and eight hours overtime so total hours is going to be 48 hours regular hours is going to be 40 and overtime hours is going to be 8. What 8 hours overtime really means is that this is equivalent to working 12 hours regular re at a regular rate. How did I get 12 hours? Remember, in the question here, they told you 8 hours over time at 1.5 times regular wage. So if I work for 1 hour over time, that is actually um, the same as working for 1.5 um, hours regular hours. So I converted that 8 hours over time to regular um, working hours and that is going to give me 12 hours so the total um, hours regular hours is going to be that 40 which you worked for regular hours plus your overtime which is actually equivalent to 12 hours um, at a regular rate. So that's 40 plus 12, which is 52. So she really worked for 40 hours, regular hours, and 8 hours overtime. But I want to figure out how much that 48 hours is equivalent to in regular working hours. So I got 52 hours. And the wage she got was $728. So to find the hourly rate of pay, 
what I'm going to have to do is divide that 728 by 52 and that should give me $14. So $14 is her normal hourly rate of pay. Number six, Ellie works $16.80 per hour for a regular 40-hour work week. She pays $134.40 in government taxes per week and 8% of her gross weekly wages goes towards a special pension plan. Part 1. Calculate Ellie's basic weekly wage. So, I'm going to write that underneath here. She usually works for $16.80 per hour, so hourly rate... is going to be $16.80. Her regular hours, regular hours is 40 hours. So to calculate her basic weekly wage, so I'm going to write that here, basic weekly wage is going to be that's 1680 multiplied by 40, and that is going to give me 1680 multiplied by 40, $672. So, so I'm going to write that here, 672. Now, part two, how much does Ellie pay towards the pension plan each week? It says that she pays $134 dollars and 40 cents in government taxes and eight percent of her gross weekly wages goes towards a special pension plan so i'm going to find eight percent of that 672 dollars because that is her weekly wage and they said that it's eight percent of that weekly wage so it's eight percent of 672 dollars so pension plan and that is um weekly so i'm just going to write weekly here it's going to be eight percent of six hundred and seventy two dollars and i'm going to get six seventy two multiplied by eight divided by 100 it's 53 dollars and 76 cents so 53 dollars and 76 cents next the question is asking us how much how much does ellie eventually received receive after these deductions so after the deductions which is the pension plan as well as the taxes so i have to add that pension plan to the taxes to figure out um what is the total deduction and in order to find out how much you receive after the deductions i will have to take away that total deductions from her um, regular wage. So it's $134.40 plus your pension plan. So I'm just going to write that here, deductions, deductions, and that is going to be your pension plan, which is $53.76 plus um, the Government taxes, $134.40. $134.40. And that is going to be the total deductions. So you fill up that calculator. It's going to be $53.76 plus $134.40. And that's going to be $188.15.
remember this is deduction so we want to calculate now what is going to be her final wage and that is going to be we calculate it at here 672 take away those deductions now which is 18816 and i'm going to be left with 672 take away 18816 and that's a day for number six let's look at number seven now Number seven, Larry was paid a total of $2,538 for three weeks of pay with 17.5% holiday bonus. What is Larry's weekly rate of pay? So what they are telling us is that uh, that $2,538 figure day, that includes that 17.5% holiday bonus means that 2538 represents a hundred and seventeen and a half percent so for number seven there to write a hundred and seventeen i'm going to put it as 0 0.5 percent is equal to 2538 that is what that question there is telling you because of the fact that uh, um, that 17.5% bonus is included into the, um, the figure that they gave you there already. So 25.38 is equal to 17.5%. I want to know what was his pay without that added bonus. So what I really want to find is 100%. In order to find 100%, I need to find 1% first. If 117.5% is equal to 2538, to find 1%, I'm going to have to divide that 2538 by 117.5. And that is going to give me 2538 divided by 117.5. That's $21 and... 60 cents. Now, to find a hundred percent, I just multiply that by a hundred. So, 21.60 multiplied by 100 is going to give me 2160. Now, this 100% here represents the pay that Larry got for the three weeks. And that does not include now that 17.5%. So what they are asking us in the question is to find Larry's weekly rate of pay. Remember, this 2160 is for three weeks. So I'm going to write here, three weeks pay is 2160. So to find his... Um, what are they asking us? Weekly, weekly rate of pay. So his weekly rate of pay is going to be that 2160 divided by 3. And that is going to be 3 into 21. That's 7. 3 into 6 is 2, 0. So that's $720. And that there is the solution to number 7. Number eight, a company pays a basic wage of $1,800 for a 40-hour week. Overtime is paid at time and a half. Calculate part one, the basic hourly rate. So what they are telling us is that for 40 hours, the company pays $1,800. So let me write that here. 40 hours, the company pays $1,800. You write that $1,800 properly. Now, the basic hourly rate, which means they are asking us how much money is being given for one hour um, of work. So to find one hour 
it's going to be 1800 divided by 40. And that is going to give us 45. So it's $45 for each hour that someone works in the company. Part two. So this here is basic hourly rate. So part two is overtime rate of pay. Now, they told us that for overtime, they are paying time and a half. So if for one hour regular time, they are working for $45, I'm going to write here overtime overtime rate is going to be one and a half multiplied by 45 and that is going to tell us how much money um, someone receives for one hour overtime so I'm going to multiply that 1.5 multiplied by 45 and that is going to be $67 and 50 cents so that is overtime rate Part B, Mr. Singh worked eight hours overtime in a certain week. Calculate his overtime earnings for the week. So I'm going to write here B, part one. So eight hours overtime is going to be $67.50 multiplied by eight. Remember, $67.50 is for one hour overtime. So to find eight hours, I multiply that by eight. So 6750 multiplied by 8, it's $540. Next, part 2, his total earnings for the week. So usually a person works 40 hours for the week. Mr. Singh worked that 40 hours plus 8 hours overtime. So his total earnings is going to be that eighteen hundred dollars for the forty hours plus that five hundred and forty dollars for that extra eight hours of work so i'm going to write part two is going to be total earnings is going to be that eighteen hundred plus that five hundred and forty dollars and that is going to give me 1800 plus 540 is 2340. So it's 2340. Part C. Miss Harry earned $2,542.50 in a particular week. How many hours overtime did she work? Now, remember if a person works, you sh they work for that. Um, 40 hours for the week, which is the basic hours, they are going to collect $1,800. If um, the person realizes that they collected more when the week comes, it's going to mean that they worked overtime. So she collected $2,542.50, which means that she worked more than 40 hours. So they are asking us to calculate how many hours overtime she worked. So it's going to be, I'm going to write overtime wage is going to be that 254250 take away your basic wage which is uh, let me go up here 1800 and that is going to be 2542.50 take away 1800 $742.50 And that is going to be the overtime wage. Now, what they are asking us is to find how many overtime hours did she work. So, overtime hours is going to be that wage, which is $742.50, divided by how much they usually get for one hour overtime. 
and one hour over time, if I go back up here, I'm going to see that it's $67.50. So I'm going to divide that by $67.50. And that is going to give me $742.50 divided by $67.50, 11. So it's 11 hours over time that Miss Harry worked. So that there is your solution to number eight, and we have completed the solutions for all of our questions. If you benefited from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my videos.